to day eight of my coronavirus video blog, and my weekend was pretty uneventful. Mia and I took my dogs for a walk, and then I took her home the next day. And last night, my parents and I watched Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which was a very good movie that they were surprised I'd never seen before. Um, and today, I did my homework, got all that done, and I was going to take my dogs for a walk again, and we found out it was going to be raining all day today. So I'm pretty sure no one's outside. Uh, and everything was pretty normal, except my choir teacher posted some videos, and the only thing was that she seemed very stressed uh, for them, and she insinuated that we'd be learning like this possibly until the end of the year, which is something that I've tried not to think about because it means that my graduation is going to be postponed most likely, and senior trip will be postponed if not canceled, which really is really unfair, and... I also try not to feel too bad for myself because there are people who are sick and dying and yeah my stuff got pushed back but I'm I me and the people I love we have our health so it's hard not to get bogged down and dwell on stuff being canceled and getting disappointed but I do have to still have time to be thankful for my health and the fact that I get to do uh, my schoolwork and feel this camaraderie with my with my peers and work on my hobbies and hang out with my dogs so i'm trying my best to keep keep in good spirits and that's pretty much how i'm feeling so that's day eight it's the final countdown. video blog number nine and i didn't do much of substance today my mom was at work all day and she actually sent us pictures of herself in her like n95 mask and what her emergency room looks like right now um, usually they have just curtains that separate each room, but right now they have them in like plastic bubbles that is not normal And my mom said it looked kind of insane like a movie um, And then as soon as she got home, we made her take a shower and I uh, spent the rest of my time today I FaceTime my friend Mia again and I took pictures for our NHS spirit week where every day We basically have to submit a picture to them with the day's theme like Monday was taking a picture in comfy clothes or pajamas and Tuesday uh, today is taking a picture of someone in your house or a pet. Um, so I did Monday and Tuesday, and then my family and I watched the season finale of one of our favorite shows, This Is Us, and we watched that season finale, and then my dad started his fifth documentary of the day, so I am going to bed. So that's day nine. It's the final countdown. Welcome to day 10 of my video blog, and today I just completed my schoolwork and uh, took another picture for our NHS Spirit Week, which was to wear something uh, sports related, so that's why I'm wearing this. Uh, and then my dad and I did this thing we like to do, uh, where we flip from CNN to Fox on the TV, because we know the facts already of what's going on, but we like to see how each outlet kind of manipulates or talks about what a politician or someone on TV says, and just seeing how they... Um, how different their reporting is. Uh, I also like to get my in my information about what's going on from informative channels on YouTube because they tend to be really unbiased and kind of give information about everything going on in the world. And that got me thinking about, because um, you know, the US government's talking about how they really want to lift this isolation very quickly and get people back to work, which makes a lot of sense. That would be nice. Um, but you know, just seeing footage and hearing the numbers of what's going on in Italy that got me thinking of, I really hope that the U.S. doesn't lift this isolation too early because I honestly think that we haven't seen, or like major cities in the U.S. have not seen the worst of it, of the, uh, coronavirus yet. Uh, so, I, so I've just been reflecting and thinking about how I hope the U.S. thinks smarter and doesn't immediately try to get people back to work or back to school too early when we might have not, we might have not seen the worst of the coronavirus yet. Um, but anyway, my family and I spent the rest of our time today, we watched um, a Netflix documentary uh, called 20 Feet from Stardom, which was very good. And now I'm up here about to go to bed. So that was day 10. It's the final countdown. This is day 11 of my video blog, and today I just completed my schoolwork, and I had my first online vocal lesson with my vocal instructor on Zoom. And we basically spent the whole time talking about tech stuff and how we're going to handle doing warm-ups and working on uh, different pieces uh, online for the next month or two months or however long we do it. And uh, yeah, it was my first time ever using Zoom because none of my teachers in school have been using it, which is really surprising. But I assume that as this progresses and as we're home for longer and teachers have to teach new material, we're going to be using it much more often. Because um, it's a really cool application that can do a lot more than I thought I, than I thought it could. 
Um, also, I think it was either yesterday or the day before that, my class advisor sent out a message to us about senior trip where they basically said that they and the principal are planning to meet to talk about the senior trip and how Disney tentatively plans to open in like mid-April, but if they don't, then the trip has to, the trip who was, was rescheduled for May would be canceled and refunds would be given to the students. Um, and I think I've, I've gotten past feeling disappointed about it just because, you know, I have been to Disney before with my family and I more so feel bad for a lot of my friends who had never been before and were really excited to go. And, you know, if it's canceled, it's canceled. There's not much I can do being sad or complaining about it. Um, it would definitely be a story to tell. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed and seeing what happens. So that was day 11. It's the final countdown. Welcome to day 12 and the end of my second school week of my video blog. And today I just finished my schoolwork and my family and I took my dogs for a walk. Um, and I realized in doing this for, you know, two consecutive school weeks that I've been a lot more responsible with what I, ha with what I have to do around the house. Like, I don't wake up at 6 a.m. anymore, but I still try to wake up relatively early and I, you know, get dressed, brush my teeth, and pretty much immediately start my homework and finish it in one sitting. And then for the rest of the day, I really don't have much to do. Um, and while I'm glad that I'm being really proactive with you know, my schoolwork and my responsibilities, and I am spending time with my family a lot more, um, I'm still kind of waiting for that like peak boredom to set in and then I'm not sure what I'll do because for now I'm enjoying it and staying up to date and hoping things get better but I know I'm gonna reach that point of just feeling like I'm like I have cabin fever so we'll see what happens oh we also finished our NHS spirit week yesterday we had to submit a picture of something we were eating like at home and so I sent a picture of my Cheez-Its because that's really what I am eating all the time um and today was our NHS slash school apparel day so I wore this so yeah it was really nice and I'm glad that they were finding ways to kind of keep the whole NHS community connected but thank you for watching my second full week of my video blog